Imagine you're inside the Royal Mint of Spain with the professor and a mask hiding your face. The police have surrounded the building, hostages are nervous, and every word you say could mean the difference between walking away rich or spending life in prison. It's similar to what computers face when trying to understand human language through natural language processing, what we call as NLP. Here's the crazy part about language. It's messier than Tokyo's decision-making skills. One person shouts in Spanish, another whispers in code, someone else uses sarcasm that flies over your head. The professor's genius was anticipating all these variables, and that's exactly what NLP tries to do for machines. Think about Tokyo with her earpiece. That's like speech recognition technology converting her angry shouts into text. When Nairobi negotiates with hostages, she's basically running sentiment analysis, reading emotions in real time, just like customer service chatbots do. And remember how Denver had to bridge language gaps between the Spanish and Serbian members. That's machine translation working overtime. The professor's entire plan was built on controlling communication, knowing when to reveal information, when to stay silent, and how to interpret every message from the police. NLP gives machines that same strategic advantage with human language. It's why your phone can understand your voice commands even when you mumble, or how social media can detect hate speech in a million different languages. What makes this really fascinating is that language, just like the heist, is always changing. New slang pops up like unexpected police tactics, cultural references shift like allegiances in the mint, and sarcasm can be as dangerous as a misfired gun. But with the right systems in place, with NLP as our professor, machines are learning to navigate this chaos. They're becoming the ultimate communication strategists turning the unpredictable mess of human language into actionable intelligence. So next time you ask Siri a question or get a surprisingly accurate translation online, remember, there's an entire money heist style operation happening behind the scenes. NLP is where human language meets artificial intelligence. It's how machines learn to read, understand, even think in words. Today we'll explore NLP in three clear parts. First, the foundations how language is processed and structured, then the models and techniques that power real-world NLP, and finally, the tools, challenges, and future of this transformative technology. First, we'll define exactly what NLP is and why it powers technologies from chatbots to sentiment analysis. Then, we'll see how raw, messy text gets prepared for analysis through techniques like tokenization and stemming. Next comes a crucial step converting words into numbers. We'll explore methods like bag of words, TFIDF, and word embeddings, because machines think in numbers, not words. Finally, we'll examine how NLP models understand grammar and meaning through syntax parsing, part of speech tagging, and named entity recognition. Once text is cleaned and structured, what can we actually do with it? That's where part two takes us forward. Now, Let's see what makes NLP truly powerful. We start with language models, from simple n-grams predicting your next word, to advanced systems like BERT and GPT that understand meaning. Next, practical applications come to life, spam filters protecting your inbox, sentiment analysis reading emotions in reviews, all powered by these intelligent models. Then, the architecture breakthrough, how basic RNNs evolved into LSTMs, and how transformers revolutionized everything with attention mechanisms. Finally, the magic you use daily, machine translation breaking language barriers, chatbots writing creative content, AI answering complex questions instantly. Now we enter the final act of our NLP journey. Here we'll explore the powerful toolkit behind NLP cutting-edge libraries like Hugging Face and Spacey, and the vast datasets that train these systems to understand our world. But NLP isn't without its challenges. We must confront its limitations head-on, like biased algorithms that mirror human prejudices, the struggle to process rare or underrepresented languages, and the urgent need for transparency in how these models make decisions. Yet the future is bright. Imagine NLP systems that don't just read text, but see images, hear speech, and understand context 
like never before. Natural language processing bridges the gap between human communication and computer understanding. Think of it like teaching a child to read. First, they learn letters, then words, and eventually understand full stories. NLP does the same for machines, helping them progress from raw text to true comprehension. This powerful technology is what enables the smart chatbots we interact with daily, the seamless machine translation that breaks language barriers, and even the sentiment analysis that helps businesses understand customer emotions. At its core, NLP combines the precision of artificial intelligence with the adaptive learning of machine learning, creating systems that don't just process words, but actually understand meaning. Before computers can understand text, we need to clean and prepare it, just like how we wash and chop vegetables before cooking. First comes tokenization, where we split paragraphs into individual words or sentences. Imagine breaking a Lego castle into separate bricks. Each piece becomes manageable for analysis. Next, we remove stop words, common terms like the or and that add clutter. This is like sifting flour to remove lumps, keeping only what's essential for our recipe. Then come stemming and lemmatization, reducing words to their core forms. Running becomes run. Finally, text normalization standardizes everything, lowercasing letters and stripping punctuation. Think of it as organizing a messy desk, putting papers in one stack, removing paper clips, and creating a clean workspace for analysis. Just as artists use different techniques to capture reality, NLP uses multiple methods to represent text for machines to understand. First, we have the bag of words method. This represents text by simply counting how often each word appears without worrying about word order. Imagine analyzing a restaurant menu by counting how often spicy or sweet appears. Next is TFIDF, which stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. This technique doesn't just count words, it calculates their importance. Common words get lower weights, while rare, meaningful words score higher. Imagine searching through research papers. Terms that appear often in one paper, but rarely elsewhere, become the most significant. Then we have word embeddings. These are smart numerical representations where words with similar meanings are placed close together in a mathematical space. Models like Word2Vec and Glove create these embeddings. Picture a map where happy, joyful, and cheerful are neighboring towns, while sad is in a completely different region. Finally, contextual embeddings take this further. Advanced models like BERT, which stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers, and ELMO, which is Embeddings from Language Models, give words different meanings based on their context. For example, the word bank would have different representations in riverbank versus bank account. These techniques form the foundation that allows computers to work with human language in increasingly sophisticated ways. Understanding language structure is like solving a puzzle. We need to identify each piece and how they fit together. That's exactly what syntax and parsing techniques do in NLP. First comes part of speech tagging where we label every word with its grammatical role, like sorting puzzle pieces into edges, corners, and middles. Is this word a noun, a verb? This is the foundation. Next, named entity recognition acts like a highlighter for special terms. It spots and categorizes important names. People like Albert Einstein, places like Paris, or organizations like United Nations. Imagine scanning a newspaper and circling all the key players and locations. For deeper analysis, we use two powerful tools, constituency. We break sentences into nested phrases, like diagramming sentences in school. The quick brown fox becomes one meaningful chunk. Dependency parsing maps how words relate to each other, revealing connections like fox being the subject of jumps. Finally, chunking, or shallow parsing, gives us a middle ground, grouping words into basic phrases without full analysis. Think of it as quickly sorting laundry into lights and darks before doing the detailed folding. Language models are the crystal balls of NLP. They predict what words are likely to come next, just like how we anticipate the next word when someone's speaking to us. At its core, a language model calculates probabilities of word sequences.
This is the foundation behind features like your phone's predictive text. Ngram models take a straightforward approach. They predict based on the last few words. An Ngram model might look at have a nice to guess day, like finishing someone's sentence after hearing just the first few words. Simple, but surprisingly effective for many tasks. Neural language models are far more sophisticated. Using deep learning, they detect complex patterns across entire sentences, much like how humans understand context, tone, and nuance. These models can grasp that bank refers to money in one sentence and rivers in another. The most powerful today are pre-trained models like GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer, BERT, Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers, Roberta, Robustly Optimized BERT Approach. These come preloaded with comprehensive language understanding, similar to how a seasoned librarian brings years of reading experience to help find exactly what you need. They form the backbone of modern AI writing assistants, chatbots, and more. Text classification helps computers organize and understand text, just like librarians categorize books. But instead of genres, we're detecting emotions, topics, and more. Sentiment analysis acts as an emotional thermometer for text. It detects whether a product review is positive, negative, or neutral, much like how we can tell if someone's happy or angry from their word choices. Businesses use this to understand customer feedback at scale. For more complex sorting, we have multi-class classification, where each document gets one label, like filing a book under either mystery or romance. Multi-label classification, where documents can have multiple tags, like labeling a book as both sci-fi and adventure. Spam detection works like a vigilant security guard for your inbox. It analyzes patterns to separate legitimate messages from unwanted promotions or scams, learning from millions of examples to protect users. News categorization organizes articles automatically like a digital newsstand. It can sort stories into politics, sports, or entertainment with precision, helping readers find exactly what they're interested in. Together, these techniques turn unstructured text into meaningful, actionable categories, powering everything from your email filters to personalized news feeds. Sequence modeling gives computers the power to work with language the way humans do, understanding context, remembering what came before, and generating what comes next. Recurrent neural networks, RNNs, were the first breakthrough, processing text like reading a book page by page while remembering the story so far. However, their memory is limited, like trying to recall an entire novel after just one reading. The encoder-decoder architecture revolutionized machine translation. Think of it like a bilingual expert who first fully comprehends a sentence in French, encoding, then carefully reconstructs it in English, decoding. This two-step process maintains meaning across languages. The attention mechanism made models smarter by letting them focus on relevant words, much like how you pay closer attention to key terms when reading complex instructions. This was a game changer for handling long, nuanced sentences. Finally, transformers like GPT and BERT combine these advances into today's state-of-the-art models. They process all text simultaneously while intelligently weighting relationships between words, achieving both the speed of skimming and the comprehension of deep reading. This architecture powers everything from real-time translations to AI writing assistance. Modern NLP applications are transforming how we interact with technology. Let's explore the most impactful ones. Machine translation works like a digital polyglot, instantly converting text between languages. Imagine having a UN interpreter in your pocket. That's what tools like Google Translate provide, breaking down language barriers in real time. Question. Answering systems are the ultimate know-it-alls. They scan vast information, like a speed-reading librarian, pinpointing exact answers to your queries. When you ask your smart speaker, who invented the telephone, this technology finds the needle, Alexander Graham Bell, in the information haystack. Text summarization acts as your personal executive assistant. Whether it's condensing a 20-page report into key bullet points, extractive, or writing an original abstract, abstractive, it delivers the essence without the fluff, like getting the SparkNotes version of any document. Text generation is where NLP becomes truly creative. Models like ChatGPT and BARD compose human-like text, 
by predicting plausible word sequences. It's like having a writing partner who's read every book ever published, generating everything from poetry to technical documentation on demand. Every craftsman needs quality tools, and NLP practitioners have an impressive toolbox at their disposal. Let's explore the essentials. For libraries, we have specialized kits for language tasks. NLTK is like the Swiss Army knife, great for learning and prototyping. Spacey works as the power drill, optimized for speed and production. Hugging Face serves as the complete workshop, with thousands of pre-trained models. Open NLP acts as the reliable wrench, a solid Java-based option. The platforms provide the heavy machinery. TensorFlow and PyTorch are like industrial 3D printers, flexible frameworks for building custom NLP solutions. AllenLP specializes as the language assembly line, designed specifically for NLP research. And every project needs quality materials. That's where datasets come in. IMDB offers movie reviews, perfect for sentiment analysis. Squad provides question-answer pairs for training. QA Systems, CoNLL, delivers annotated text for entity recognition. GELU serves as the standardized test suite for model evaluation. Together, these resources form the foundation that makes modern NLP development possible. While NLP has made incredible progress, significant challenges remain, and they point to exciting opportunities ahead. Language ambiguity continues to puzzle even advanced systems. Words like bank or sentences like they saw her duck remain tricky. Computers lack our human ability to instinctively grasp context. It's like trying to explain a joke to someone who takes everything literally. Bias in models presents urgent ethical concerns. When training data reflects human prejudices, algorithms amplify them, like a mirror that not only reflects but magnifies flaws. This affects everything from hiring tools to loan approvals, demanding careful mitigation. For low-resource languages, the challenge is data scarcity. While English has abundant digital content, many languages struggle with what we call the digital desert phenomenon, where NLP tools either don't exist or perform poorly due to limited training materials. Looking ahead, three key trends will shape NLP's future. Multimodal systems that combine text with images, voice, and video, like teaching computers to understand tone from audio cues or sarcasm from facial expressions. Explainable AI that can justify its decisions in human terms, transforming black box models into transparent assistants. Inclusive NLP that bridges the digital language divide, bringing quality tools to underserved languages. These challenges aren't roadblocks. They're the frontier where tomorrow's breakthroughs will happen. To truly master NLP, the adventure continues in the next video, Advanced NLP where we'll dive deeper into the engines powering modern AI, like autoencoders for efficient data compression, transformers that revolutionize language models, and the attention mechanism that lets AI focus like the human mind. Are you curious about how tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, or other large language models actually work under the hood? That's exactly what we'll unravel in Advanced NLP Part 2. The real magic begins there. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next chapter.